Bien. I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Come here and I'll show you. It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Wulud? Certainly her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes, it seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang, a place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts? But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. No. The journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists not the Republicans who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. <laughs> <laughs>